Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Mahindra Scorpio pickup or the Mahindra Scorpio getaway or the Mahindra Goa pickup or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's the pickup truck version of the Scorpio and it has some mods to it and uh, there's this crash guard revised bumper. Let's do one thing. Let's open the engine bay which is... Yeah, there it... Oh my god, this is heavy. Yeah, hydraulic struts are not there here, of course. This is the 2.6 liter SZ CRDE engine and uh, there's insulation there. The hood scoop does not work here. Yeah, it does not work here. There's an antenna here. There's a compass right there. This car actually comes courtesy of Dare to Get to me. Yes, and oh, it's basically the Scorpio, the old Scorpio. Can you stop making noise, please, so that I can shoot? I don't think so. He gets the memo. Anyways. Coming to this particular car, it has a lot of stickers which actually improves the aesthetic value of this vehicle. I'm just kidding. So from the side, you can see it is actually more than 5 meters in length and the wheelbase is more than 3 meters. So yes, it is quite a long car and um, it's basically based on the Scorpio. So everything is similar to the Scorpio, including the logo of the Scorpio here. The tires are actually revised here. So the tire size happens to be 235, 75, 16s with nice wheels as well. And there's the side footstep too. Now, when you come to the rear, you realize that there's a lot of luggage already lying here because this car is used to deliver cycles. So, there are like three, four cycles lying right on top right now with a gadda here. So, if you want to sleep now, you can do that as well. So, I won't open this, but there's decent amount of space here in the loading bay. And, yeah, massive tyres. Tyres are like really crazy. It runs on leaf springs, so you can imagine the ride quality of the already poor Scorpio would be even worse here, obviously. Now, let's actually open the rear door. Space is okay, but because this is a pickup, the problem is this is upright, so it's very uncomfortable. This thing should go up, but I cannot find the lever for the same. There's something there as well. And ergonomic disaster, which the Scorpio was since a long time, no center armrest, center passenger does not get a head either, high mounted stop lamp. Yeah, it's kind of okay by 2000 standards. This is a 2006 car, it's fine, but by 2020 standards, it's very poor. And there you can see the flat dashboard of the Scorpio. The thing is that uh, the Scorpio, the older one, and now the classic of course, is very dated a vehicle and it shows. And the new Scorpio N is next level honestly when you look at this particular Scorpio. But here I'm not going to compare or complain because that's not my job today. It's just to show you what a Mahindra Scorpio pickup is because it's discontinued, of course. No door pockets and once you close it, it has very chintu door pockets. Once you close the door, nah, you cannot use it only because it's like paper thin here. Seats are fine, you get armrests as well and there's some storage as well. And then obviously, massive gear lever which vibrates a lot. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle so you can actually get into four high and four low. Power window controls in the center and storage spaces here like there also you can see the instrument cluster is actually decent and nice and this is actually a proper parking camera what is this okay that is a storage space i thought that is like a dvd player too so i'm not going to get into the details of all this let's do one thing let's start driving right away all right let's go let's turn on the car yeah it actually shakes everything possible in the world and hazard lights on off yeah there we go car is rolling back one second first things first let's actually get into reverse that is the reverse parking camera it has got a cycle view okay and yeah handbrake down and off we go thing is the clutch is gone the brakes are gone the engine is gone everything is gone and that's the reason why i have to put a little bit more effort on the brakes uh rather on the pedals and here we are going to get inside turning radius seems quite a bit more and that's largely because this car's uh how do i put it tires are wider now so that's the reason i don't know why these hazard lights are on all the time maybe it's a revolutionary safety feature anyways this was launched in 2006 and this car is from 2006 and this is a four wheel drive car and this is very bouncy and this has got leaf springs and this is not an exciting car to drive and this has poor dynamics and okay enough of bitching mahindra people will call and say what are you doing faster but let them do that i'll pick up the call anyways to tell them that they've done a great job with the latest scorpio and they should say bye to the scorpio classic but that's not the point of this video it's about experiencing this particular car which 
happens to be a pickup so just like all other pickups because it has got leaf springs well i have to tell you the ride is very bad although there is some weight at the rear still the ride is very bad here everything keeps moving all over the place and the engine is decently tractable as well which is actually a good thing but the car moves all over the place the steering is very heavy it's like crazy heavier steering wheel so here we are going to take a turn so i'm just giving a quick off roadish experience and after that we will obviously get on the road as well and that is the path i've come from and that's the reason why it's so dusty right now oh my god i passed there like 15 minutes back but still you can see now the thing is that the gear lever vibrates the steering vibrates the pedals vibrate everything vibrates but still this car is not dead which is actually a revolution considering this is 15 years old and uh, you know the gearbox is not the slickest shifting the pattern of shifts are also weird it's not like uh, proper it's like something here something there but that doesn't matter there's some rattle which is coming from behind so this car has been used very extensively and that's the reason it's making some noises and squeaks and all which is okay fine i'm not complaining about that the point is that the initial scorpio wasn't very well put together it had a powerful engine so this is the 2.6 liter engine which is actually producing 115 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque then they actually also had a 2.5 liter engine in certain markets uh, which was having less output of course and then they also i mean they gave it a update and then facelift also came with more power but that was with the 2.2 liter engine which obviously we know is fantastic now the engine i'm talking about the 2.2 produced around 138 horsepower and the torque output is 320 newton meters which again later was increased to 330 newton meters available with either a 5 speed manual then later we got a 6 speed manual then obviously we also happen to get a 6 speed automatic and you won't believe it that this car is actually sold in many other countries as well and uh, its main rival in india happened to be the tata xenon now i should just stop here brakes are actually very poor into first gear and i think we should turn on the light so you can act oh my god that is so dull revving the motor revs all the way to 4500 rpm oh ho wheel spin and off we go engine revs at 4500 rpm but post 3 and a half thousand rpm you are very sure that there's going to be an explosion from the motor because it just feels so out of sync but then pulling this motor in the top end makes no sense because this car really doesn't have top end performance the performance is mostly lower down so drivability is actually good turbo lag is well contained and then mid range punch is also nice in fact because of the fantastic engine of the scorpio people used to drive it very fast in terms of safety we know the scorpio did not perform well at all yeah very poor in terms of safety but the other problem was that it had a fantastic performance so good performance meant people used to drive fast and then poor safety meant that it was actually dangerous for people to drive fast the handling is poor because steering has no feel look at that slack in the center position lot of body roll like crazy body roll in this car and then the ride is also not good because that continuous movement is there the suspension they didn't ever ever got the right suspension for the scorpio even the latest scorpio classic has a very terrible suspension i would say the scorpio n is in a different league altogether mahindra is taken whatever they learned about the scorpio tore it apart threw it away and then they decided let's start from scratch for the scorpio and i'm just kidding the learnings from the scorpio they decided to actually take it to the next level with the scorpio and and they have done a fab job in that regard ah oh, the horn needs some cough syrup just like i need one right now anyways So it's easy to bitch and say bad things about this car but from uh, 2000 perspective it is actually a very good car and kudos to Mahindra to actually make a pickup truck version as well which obviously did not sell well and that's the reason it got discontinued eventually because let's be honest uh, the Xenon has managed to continue in the form of the Yodha and the Xenon is definitely better than the Scorpio getaway or the pickup or whatever you want to call it I have to really plan my braking up because I know the car doesn't really stop but yeah performance is actually quite nice it pulls strongly it's of having the weakest engine of the whole scorpio lineup ever i think the 2.5 was weaker because that's the m2 dicor na so that was in that good but i don't know why this keep running the hazard lights maybe because we have a lot of load at the rear so technically and usually cars are two wheel drive okay and suvs like the scorpio are four wheel drive but you know what is so revolutionary about this particular car this scorpio is not four wheel drive this scorpio is 10 wheel drive let's not forget the three cycles with two wheels each which makes this a 10 wheel drive car obviously i'm not using the other six wheels right now but then this is a car which can give competition to the Ashok Leyland Fat Six by Six, and then when you drive an SUV, you know the good thing is now you can just like not care about anyone and anything and just go from wherever you want. I'm just like worried if I hit the cycle to somebody, yeah, <laughs> then the cycle will go for a toss. And chalo, 
come on pull you can actually drive in higher gear here i am in third gear no problem it's tractable so the engine is very nice yeah somehow uh, mahindra has always managed to make good engines and that's very much obvious here because the engine feels smooth refined and doesn't feel out of place at all in spite of being that old and run so hard too in terms of mileage i think it should give around say 10 to 12 kilometers per liter steering is like ridiculous though <laughs> yeah now in terms of pricing i think this was priced around the uh, tata xenon in those days itself and uh, mahindra still selling this car i think or probably not in certain markets yeah in certain markets this car is probably still being sold i am not too sure which markets i'm talking about left lane hai yeah so they are still selling this car some in some places in some countries the poorer countries of course where in they don't have options where they say this car also rivals the toyota hilux it's the same way of me saying that i rival jermy clarkson which is not the case and same is the case with the scorpio either it it cannot compete with the hilux the hilux is not the best car as such but again has its flaws but this one too does it you can't get into first gear when you're moving okay that antenna actually gives me a good perspective of where i'm going and because we are in i think gaziabad noida or somewhere and it's just like 5:30 the sun is down which means this vlog is over bye bye